The velocity v of sound traveling along a road made of a material of Young's modulus alpha and density rho is given by this. Show that the formula is dimensionally consistent. So of course dimensional, to show that its formula is dimensionally consistent means that we're supposed to get the dimensions of the quantities on the left hand side, get the dimensions on the right hand side, the dimensions of the quantities on the right hand side, and if the two quantities are the same, it means that formula is dimensionally consistent. Now, since our question is telling us to show that the formula is dimensionally consistent, it means that here we are simply supposed to be showing that this the dimensions of V are the same as the dimensions of this whole thing. So we'll get started with what is on our left hand side. So on our left hand side we have V and, and the dimensions of V are L T to the power negative 1. These are the dimensions of V. Now of course how L T to the power negative 1 comes about is something that we did in our previous videos maybe for some of us that have just joined us I'll play that let's go back to how we get the dimensions for velocity so velocity dimensions of velocity is going to be equal to our displacement divide that by time so we look for the dimensions of displacement and what are the dimensions of time so now displacement is actually a length according to the three fundamental quantities of mass length and time displacement is a length so this is going to be l divide that by the time this is a fundamental basic quantity which is t so it means that the dimensions of velocity are l t to the power negative one those are the dimensions for velocity welcome back from that flashback so that's uh, how we get v the dimensions of velocity so now we this is our left hand side so let's go ahead and look at the right hand side on our right hand side we are having uh, alpha over that so we need to find the dimensions of alpha the dimensions of this now the dimensions of alpha which so happens to be according to our question the dimensions of alpha Alpha is actually Young's modulus. So what's the formula for Young's modulus? So we know that alpha, which happens to be Young's modulus, is the ratio of stress to strain. And we know that stress is given by force over area. Divide that by strain. Strain is given by extension over original area it's actually extension over original length so we know that force is mass times acceleration divide that by area multiply that by original length we make find the reciprocal of this original length is just in a length divide that by extension so the dimensions of these the dimensions of that, the dimension of this, the dimension of length, the dimension of that. This is given by, so we have force is equal to mass, that is the dimensions of mass is capital M. The dimensions of acceleration is LT to the power negative 2. Then divide that by the dimensions of area, that is given by, area is equal to length times width. So it means it is L squared. Multiply that by, this is original length, which is a length over extension. Extension is also in terms of length. So, of course, definitely here it's going to turn out to be this L can cancel with that L. This L will cancel with one of the L's here. will remain with M L to the power negative 1 and then T to the power negative 2. So, these are the dimensions of... Young's modulus. Now that we have found the dimensions of Young's modulus, it's time for us to find the dimensions of density. 
I'll fix that right here. So to find the dimensions of density, we know that density is equal to mass over volume. We know that mass is capital M over volume. Volume is length times width times height, so that is L to the power 3. So this becomes M L to the power negative 3. So if I may, so this has been more like side work. In this side work, we've been able to find the dimensions of Young's modulus, which we got as that. Then we were also able to find the dimensions of density, which we got as that. So to come back to our original question, which so happens to be this, we got left hand side, the, the, the dimensions of the left hand side, the velocity was L to the power negative 1. Now the dimensions on the right hand side is the, under the square root of that over that. So it means that the dimensions on the right hand side here, if I may continue, it's going to be uh, under the square root of the dimensions of alpha, which we got as this. So it's going to become m l to the power negative 1, t to the power negative 2, divide that by the dimensions of density. We got the dimensions of density as this, m l to the power negative 3. So this is m l to the power negative 3. And so definitely this is going to be, this M will cancel with that M. Uh, th this is L and that is L. Uh, we, we subtract the powers. So this becomes negative 1 minus negative 3. We remain with uh, under the square root of L, L to the power 2. And this definitely is, remains T to the power negative 2. Also, of course, now this is going to become... This is the same as saying L to T to the power negative 2. And this, since it's under the square root, this is to the power a half. If we are to multiply a half to all through here, a half times 2 is 1. So it remains as L to the power 1. Then negative 2 times a half, negative 2 times a half is going to remain as T to the power negative 1. Now you realize that at first... Uh, the dimensions of velocity were L to the power negative 1 and it's the same as L T to the power negative 1 so we shall conclude by saying that that since the dimensions on the right on the left hand side are equal to the dimensions of the right hand side therefore this equation right here is dimensionally consistent You can try out this number. If you need me to make a video on this number, the solution, please let me know in the comments below. This brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Feel free to check out other excellent videos on the channel and don't forget to subscribe. For Kisembo Academy, this is Anwar Rangakuramia helping you manifest excellence.